Welcome to the Green X Game Jam, organized with Sojeti and Intel. We are delighted that you are participating. This video might give you additional insight. Thank you. Everybody ready? Today, it is all too easy to take for granted the increasingly diverse availability of powerful creative solutions available in today's digital marketplace. There's applications and toolkits which back in their twilight years, they were solely and exclusively only available to the industry's elite professionals. But now, in many cases, they are freely and reasonably available to anyone, instantly available on demand for download. And whether that be for your child to ultimately embark upon a learning journey to unlock their imagination in their future careers, or for a hobbyist just looking for a conduit to assist with crafting their ideas and their dreams into a reality, or for your business to plan, design and manufacture commercial products through to the planning of entire city infrastructures, we are in a golden age of democratized inventive opportunity, and with that brings flexibility, collaboration, and interoperability. But a creator's work is far from a simple picture to paint, and that can be compared to what is often regarded as one of the greatest creative feats of human civilization. Michelangelo's ceiling in the Sistine Chapel is an intricately detailed, interconnected work of art that depicts nine scenes from the book of Genesis. Collectively, it's a bigger picture of biblical narratives, but if you look a little closer, you'll see that each painting has a unique story to tell, none more so iconic than the renowned finger of God. But as famous to the chapel as the finger of God is, it is just one of many works of art that make up the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, aptly named the story of creation. And this perspective translates across into a modern day digital story of creation, where the bigger picture is a creator's end product. It's the deliverable. And whether that be a ray traced 4K still render or an animation, a full length feature film, the BIM model for the home you live in, or the builds and material, the digital twins for the engines that power the commercial aircraft that take you away on holiday. And we can either step back to appreciate this bigger picture, respect and admire the output from the artist or the creator. Or we can take a step in, we can look closer and appreciate that in order to achieve this end product, each industry specific workflow is a multi-step interconnected workflow and each step is as important as the next with this workflow being the end-to-end -end productivity pipeline. We can look closer to appreciate that the finger of God is a smaller but crucial detail in context of this digital story of creation. And behind many of the world's most creative storytellers and the work they produce, there are many interconnected workflows all coming together. So please visit create.intel.com to learn how Intel are empowering and accelerating the digital narrative through case study workflows and testimonials from some of the world's most talented creators and influencers in their respective fields and how Intel's technology is helping them to do so. So that you can also benefit from their experience and insights to infuse value and apply maximum efficiency into your own creativity. So visit create.intel.com to learn more. Hello, my name is Jean-Pierre Navarro. I'm working at Intel as a global account manager into the software division. What it is that we are working with developers at Intel? Actually, the team I'm working on, we have a lot of engineers when we are working with developers, Adobe, Autodesk, Maxon, Foundry, VLC, Magix, and so on. I will describe to you exactly how we're working with developers on workloads, workflow to optimize their code, to be able to take advantage of CPU, GPU. That's not only what is needed. You need software to be able to optimize their code. This is what we are doing. In order to explain to you in details how we're working with developer, I'm going to start with an analogy I called Finger of God. So let's start. So Finger of God is a painting. You know Finger of God. In Italy, Michelangelo painted the Chapelle 16. I've been over there and when I saw in my mind, when I saw the finger of God painting, I thought it was huge. But actually, when you see the finger of God painting, it's so small, you barely see it, you know? And when you look at the Chapelle 16, beautifulness is everywhere. So I'm using this analogy to tell you, and I've been working with a creature called Stefan Voigt, to see the beautifulness of his full workflow.
So, and I put in perspective many of the software we Intel optimize with those developers I just named earlier. In this case, it's going to be Maxon, Epic, with photogrammetric software called Quixel. And I did ask the creator, how much time do you spend in each of the sections during all this full workflow? It was very interesting, to be honest, to understand how much time is spending, not especially how much time it compute. We are taking care of the compute with the developer, but at the end of the day, how much should we care from the developer, from the creator perspective of the time he is spending on the full workflow? This is really important for the creator. This is money at the end of the day. Optimizing the code to go faster in some of the crucial section of this Chapel 16, sorry, of the creator workflow is really important. So you can see here onto the screen six different sections. I worked with Stefan Voigt to, to clearly understand pre-production 20% of his time is spending here. Scene creation. Let me pause here. Scene creation. This is where the creator is using interaction. He's not rendering. He do not need the final result. He needs past interaction with the software. The creator himself may call his customer to understand, is it good quality? Do you like it? The question will be, how fast does it compute to preview? So this is where we worked with Maxon to integrate some special library called Image Denoise to preview to the highest possible quality. Really interesting. You can preview nearly real time using the CPU and eventually the GPU. Really important. Does the creature understand it's going to use one API Intel library? No. But the developer, for the developer and for Intel, this is really important. This is why we're working with the developer. We're working with creator and developer to do this matchmaking. And you can see here also on another layer, AVX, SSC, TBB. Where should we optimize it? Okay, but where do you know where the bottleneck is in terms of performance? You can use Intel VTune. All the software are free to use for you, you know. And I'll point you to the right URL at the end of the presentation for you and to understand and to go and cruise around depending on what you're doing. What do you need to optimize your code? So let's continue with this creator, lighting and rendering. You see, most of the, most of the uh, creator or OEM pointed to some benchmark, and some of those benchmarks are rendering or only a function of the full workflow. I think this is, this is good, like finger of God. You know, this is really interesting and this is be beauty. This is finger of God, it's magnificent but we should really pay attention to the full workflow to understand you know, where the artist is spending time and where you should optimize you know, the software, where the creature cares about you know, at the end of the day. This is time, creature, this is money. And you wanna make sure you're using all available technology available into your system, whether it's gonna be CPU or GPU, and you can see here into this workflow, at the platform level could be Thunderbolt here, latest one we launched, Thunderbolt 4, to speed up whether hard disk or screen. And you see here, really interesting, 35% of this creature is spending on lighting and rendering. And in some cases, creature will go and use age technology or cloud to be able to compute because you need to speed up. It will not use his local compute, he will use his distance compute. Really interesting to see and understand where data center, age, and cloud plays a role. But it's going to be for another presentation, not today. Today, really focus into the client and into this consumer, professional compute into the PC, into the local compute. Post-production, this creator is spending 2% of his time. Encoding, sharing, you see here, this is a full Chapelle 16 of Stefan Voigt. This is beautiful. And again, really interesting to see the full compute and where does it make sense to optimize. This is what Intel is doing with Creator. So now it's really interesting to see that the same concept of finger of God apply to, let's look, so many workflows to apply to, whether it's consumer, whether it's professional, whether it will apply to mobile device, desktop, workstation, you name it. 
I mentioned a little bit of the cloud, but it's going to be for another presentation, certainly. Look, you see 3D modeling, CAD, I will explain to you later about DASO workflow, VR, game design, VFX, filmmaking, whether it's consumer or professional, Magix or Adobe Premiere, streaming, motion design, art design, real-time graphics, 3D creation, I think you understand. The same concept apply to so many workflows. So let's start with really simple workflow from a developer called Magix. I worked with Lassie, great creature, and this is a real case. He's been in Tahiti to film for one of his customers. And I did ask him to bring a notebook with him and really to split and explain to us all the different workflows he's been working on. And he did. So this is a real workflow. Uh, that you see here. He spent 20% of his time in pre-production, 35% on import, editing 25%, 10% on effects, and 10% on encoding. This is really interesting because we're working with Magix to optimize their code. And you see here, we've been using OpenVINO AI to optimize some of the function of Magix to be able to optimize their code to take advantage of the CPU or the GPU. And you see here also AVX. And actually, it was a case, you know. Lassie didn't know that he was using OpenVINO. But at the end of the day, it's really interesting to see that, you know, the time that the artist is spending into his workflow matches his need. So the notebook we provided to him was perfect uh, to, do, to do his job. A 12 generation notebook that we provided to him. So Intel is working on optimizing. Uh, using some Intel library, but to match today's hardware. And eventually, because we have the vision of what's coming next, is also tomorrow's you know, hardware coming up, whether it's a CPU or GPU, because we have the you know, crystal ball and we see the future. We are creating also you know, next generation of CPU, GPU, and we have the roadmap for the next two to three years of what's coming next. So we are matching the, the library and also for today's need, but also vision also what's coming next. Really interesting. And you see here into this case, it's not mentioned into this workflow, but Magix is using also deep link technology to use multiple GPU inside the platform. So this is the workflow of Magix. Very busy slide here, you can see here, but very interesting. Let me explain to you. I've been working with a famous uh, uh, game developer and I've been working with four or five studios, and I did ask them, what software do you use to create games? They come back to me saying that we are using 25 applications. Out of those 25 applications, most of them, Intel, we are working with those developers to optimize their code. And what I did, I splitted you know, all those applications by jobs. And you see here, into a gaming industry, you have animator, artists in creation second blocks I, 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 I segmented, com compilation, benchmark, rendering, and the next one, which is rendering and coders. Out of that, what I did, and I did as a developer, how much time do you spend on average into all those sections? And you see the section on app usage, 65% on the first block for animator and artist. The second block, which is 25% of the time using into benchmark rendering. And the last block, 10% on coders. And then, because we are testing those applications internally, we're working with those developers, and we know the scalability. It was really interesting to see that the first block, most of those applications scale up to eight cores. The second block, it scale up to 18 cores, and the last block, it scale above 18 cores. So when it comes to optimization, we really have to make, and we make sure that we match what the scalability of the application is, where we can optimize the code inside of the scalability, and what are the software available to optimize the code, whether it's going to be AI, whether it's going to be one API out of those libraries, whether it's going to be CPU, GPU, and also bearing in mind that we have to vision what's coming next, what's coming in 2023 and 2024. So you see, really interesting to go deeper. Very busy slide, but really interesting to notice to you. Next one, very simple, we've been working with Nero, and the question was for them, how should we use AI? So we've been brainstorming with them to say, um, 
because they have software to use on photo and video editing. And what we did, we gave to them the access, and it's free, uh, to access to some model of identifying inside the application, inside the photo, whether it's a house, it's a dog, it's a human, very simple model available. And then we've been working with Nero to optimize those models, to go deeper into the optimization of the photo and video using CPU and GPU. And then Nero, what they did out of that, they did a benchmark. You go to uh, Nero, uh, dot score score.nero.com and you will see their latest benchmark and what they did with this technology this engine they created they embedded this engine inside of their suite called platinum perfect matchmaking in between what the technology can bring and what the developer can bring to their user and their software is amazing i incentive you to look at it and ai photo tiger is free to download go ahead and check it out so Another 3D creation workflow, uh, we've been working with uh, Chaos, and you can see here some more library, whether it's going to be OpenVINO, or Embry, Image Denoise, and we're working actually with some other developer on OpenVKL. What is OpenVKL? It's volumetric content inside 3D animation movie. For example, whether you have cloud, whether you have fogs, this library are able to optimize and boost the performance of this uh, compute inside of the, the, um, the software of the developer. We can continue here. You can see some video streaming. Same concept apply here. And CAD uh, with Autodesk. You see here, it's really interesting to introduce this hybrid compute model where Fusion 360 compute locally, but also into the cloud using Amazon Web Services. Really interesting to notice that you know, where the artist is spending time and whether it's compute locally and sometimes uh, into the cloud. And again here, we've been working with Autodesk to understand where the compute is happening, CPU, GPU, whether they're going to use SSE, SSE2 or TBB, and also whether they should take advantage of Intel vPro inside of the, uh, the platform, at a platform level and matching what is available at platform level to the software. Really interesting. I'm not going to describe the artist time, but this is interesting as an introduction from local compute and distance compute, what I call a hybrid compute model. Here, really interesting. Pay attention to that, what is called. I've been working with this uh, creature called Greg in uh, Las Vegas. This creature, I've been uh, uh, making a revival of a really old uh, museum, and he did projection mapping. This is a workflow about his projection mapping, how to make a revival, and, and actually it's live in Las Vegas. You can go and see it at night, and it looks so real. Again, Intel, we've been working with Blender, uh, with uh, Adobe to optimize their software to make sure it's optimized and taking advantage to whatever the creator needs. And to close into the workflow, because I can continue on and on, this is Dasso, uh, one of my favorite. Uh, it's an air conditioning, uh, air conditioner, and actually the technology available into this product that Dasso uh, has created uh, really uh, help design the product using AI. So again, we've been, we are working with Dasso to help them optimize their software to take advantage of CPU, GPU, and making available the different library available for them. Thank you for watching this video. Really appreciate. One call to action for you. Go to software.intel.com. A lot of tools for all developers. Thank you.